it was too powerful so, so that the developers had to nerf the ATN hero. Why these drones do extra damage to the more class balloons? So it means to all blimps. Hello everyone, my name is Constantine and today we are playing Beta D6 and today I will show you the one of the best heroes in the current meta as of now called Etienne. It's the new hero, the newest one. Uh, we have played with this hero for around 2-3 months right now and now we can objectively judge this hero and say um, more things about his strength and weaknesses than we could in the like first two weeks. So let's do it. Okay, uh, out of 11 heroes that exist right now, Tian, as I've told, is the newest. Its cost is pretty high. So if we are speaking about chimps mode, you won't be able to put it down in, in the beginning of the game. Uh, the main key feature of this hero is that it allows other towers on all map uh, to the whole map to shoot the camo balloons. So it, it, at the end allows the camo vision to all other towers. Uh, what does it mean for us? It simply means that we can use the more powerful upgrades. For example, one of the best upgrades the third years is destroyer with the hot shot. But the hotshot destroyer cannot shoot camo on its own but with Etienne we can upgrade this tier and it's pretty damn amazing and it's the main selling feature of this hero the second best thing about this hero for in my view is his range i will show you let's choose the brighter map okay up the coast would work perfectly look uh, first Etienne has a pretty large range I think only Churchill has the larger range than Etienne on this level okay I'm putting him down look then as he levels up his range increases further you see now he's this massive badass range and just see it let's compare it like this range is so damn huge and why I think that his range is the second best thing about the Etienne hero. Simply because this range allows the submarines to shoot in the certain... Uh, to shoot on half a map usually. So, as you might know, submarines have the special ability to uh, shoot on the tower, the balloons in range of the, let's send the mobs for example, uh, the submarines can shoot the balloons in range of the other towers and Etienne maximizes this ability. I will show you today the strategy that will utilize Etienne's massive range and also if we buff it with the <laughs> village it's gonna be even bigger, then we can buff it with the alchemist and now it's even bigger if the alchemist actually starts buffing Etienne. Ah, no, we can't buff it. So, oh, Etienne with the Alchemist. That's that's the bug probably, but I mentioned that it, Alchemist will never buff the Etienne hero. Look, uh, if we add Ninja, for example, look, Alchemist buffs Ninja, but uh, any other tower, Ace, yes, he buffs Ace. So pretty much any tower, but not the Etienne. It's probably the bug as of now. Regardless, his massive range is a very, very good thing for us. Also, uh, the base drone damage is not as strong as we anticipated in the beginning when the hero was licked, but um, this drone damage does at least something. So it's not like Quincy. Quincy is a bit stronger in terms of damage, but still, uh, Etienne is not a damage hero. Etienne is a hero that allows other towers to pop camo balloons. So, for example, if we place the um, Buccaneer 3 to 0 with the 8th level of Etienne, so that this Buccaneer can see camo, and then upgrade to the Berserker Brew, I think we can solo around 40 Moab using Etienne's ability. Um, 
I don't think we even need the Etienne's ability, so let me get rid of those. Look, I think we should be able to solo round 40 with just the um, Buccaneer, yeah, right. Then let's try round 59, but we'll need this upgrade for sure. Uh, because why do I, am I trying round 59? Simply because there are camo leads on this round, and as you can see, uh, one single upgrade uh, of Destroyer and plus Alchemist, let's try round 55, for example. It's a very tough round, usually, but as you can see, we are destroying this round like no problem. Let's try round 54. It's the round where you have the mixture of ceramics and moabs and still we are destroying it so Etienne is not only a the best support hero uh, on champs mode because benjamin of course is will be better because of his money generating abilities but uh, Etienne is the second best hero in terms of support because he allows camo vision to other towers and right now i want to show you the strategy to for impopable on one of the more difficult maps, High Finance. Um, really, really interesting map, has, because it has a very little room to place your towers. Good. And the first sub is gonna go over here. Good. We will use one knowledge over here. Okay, auto start is on. And I will show you how you can utilize uh, all Etienne's abilities. On top of the large range and camo vision, Etienne also can give you the pretty strong Moab destroying uh, drones. So put down Etienne in here as far to the left side, good, as possible. So Etienne, his drones are pretty weak against ceramics and grouped balloons, but these darts that the drones shoot deal extra damage to the Moab balloons and the thing is that it's nowhere to be written but that's just the fact I mentioned when I was playing with the Etienne. As of now I think I've played at least 200 games with this hero so I can judge it and you really begin noticing uh, how strong these drones become especially on the straight path lines. So right now on on high finance is the best case scenario for Etienne is when on even rounds balloons come from this side and it's the straight path because these darts have not bad popping power each dart of the uh, drone but if they can shoot in a straight pathing it's the best thing for the Etienne so why these drones do extra damage to the more class balloons so it means to all blimps but i found that this ability is especially useful on round um on round 40 because you're dealing with the moab moab mobs are annoying on round 15 let's use the etienne's ability first of all this ability adds four more drones and what makes this ability a little bit overpowered but it's balanced, but I still think that uh, it's very strong. Um, not only Etienne has its own drones, but he also receives extra drones each time we use the ability. So he has, uh, depending on his level, from 1 to 4 permanent drones. And he also receives the so-called buff uh, by having 4 more drones during the disability okay use the ability right now uh you should you don't have to place this monkey village immediately simply i just wanted to save some cash and so on uh, but as you see we are risking quite a lot here because uh, there, is, there are no guarantees that our rose spikes will tank all this at the end of the map and boom now the wheel tank and as soon as we get the airburst darts we are golden the next step is to upgrade the monk commerce and also the very good utilization of this hero is that uh, etienne 
destroys the round 24 camo and round 33 camo on, it, on its own. That's a very useful thing. Because we don't have to get camo vision for any of our towers and spend extra cash on those uh, just because we have the Etienne to solo all of this. Round 27 is not gonna be a problem to us because we have airburst darts and Personally, I think that this hero works best in combination with the... Okay, let's rejoin because I needed to put down the uh, red hot uh, darts, hit tip darts first on strong, good, and now we are good. Then we will need another monk village over here to further increase our discount. Good, our hit tip darts should be able to destroy all the leads we encounter over here. Good. So, Etienne is the best in combination with the, the submarines, especially on this map where uh, we need this part of range for the submarines so that they can shoot on this track even before the balloons reach the submarines themselves. Good, and now round 33, as you can see, our Etienne solos this round. This won't work on every single map, but on most maps um, this um, camo destroying machine works, and that's what I really like about Etienne. If, and the other thing is that if and the Etienne cannot solo the camo balloons on this round, on this map. You, you simply upgrade the submarine on advanced intel and now you can solo those. Good. The next step is to upgrade the airburst darts on our hit tip darts. Good. And then we are upgrading triple guns over here. Great. And then we are golden. The other thing is that what I've just told you. The, remember about the Buccaneer, so we can upgrade the Buccaneer on the stronger paths, even though um, it wouldn't see the camo in the regular scenario, right now, as we have Etienne, the Buccaneer will see the camo balloons. It's an amazing ability. Look, so it's the 2-2 Buccaneer and he still can see the camo balloons. That's what I love about Etienne. And I like Etienne to that point that I could play only using this hero. And that's a bad habit because I used to do this with Benjamin because he's so good. And on round 40 use the ability of Etienne and just look at this mob. The damage is so absurd, like uh, during this short time span the six uh, drones deal so much damage to the mob that I think it deals more damage than two brambles of Oben. That's pure insanity. Okay, the next step is to upgrade the monkey town over here and then to upgrade the um, jungle runs on the left village. Good. Right now we shouldn't have any problems because we have the destroyer. Destroyer is a very potent tower on its own and if we add the alchemist it will wreck but i want to save up for the monkey town first so that we can maximize our uh, balloon popping value and because the sooner we get monkey town the sooner we'll have heaps of cash because monkey town um, adds like multiplies all your cash from the popped balloons by 1.5 meaning you will receive dollar and a half uh, from each balloon popped uh, and not the uh, one dollar. That's a very, very large increase if we are... Okay, it's one, 1 uh, 1.5x increase in revenue. Good. Now we are upgrading the jungle drums and the next step will be to start strengthening strengthening our defenses. 
Good, right now I wanna upgrade the ballistic missile and then the armor piercing darts. On round 49 we can use level 3 ability uh, simply to deal more damage to the rams, but as you can see we are still good. Upgrade armor piercing darts and look, uh, right now we have the UCAV, UCAV ability of the Etienne. It's the second tier drone, you could say, because this drone is amazing. It deals uh, splash damage to the regular balloons, and it used to deal splash damage to the blimps, but it was too powerful, so, so that the developers had to nerf the Etienne hero. Okay, right now we are upgrading the Alchemist 3 to 0. And then we, we are placing another one over here with the same tiers. Good. The next step is to upgrade the sub commander. We should be able to do this before round 60 even. And the worst case scenario on round 62. Because we won't be able to tackle the round 63 without the sub commander using the strategy. But the thing that I was talking about, look, Etienne reaches over here and he also can uh, shoot through the walls and through the, through the obstacles. As you can see, uh, these are the obstacles and sub Submarine cannot shoot through those, but Etienne ha can because his, his drones are air drones. The next good thing about Etienne is that he levels up pretty quickly. Um, I would say it's it's even a little bit faster than Obin, because usually Etienne has its level 20 uh, uh, until around, up to around 95, I would say. So around 95, Etienne usually has level 20 and has its maximum um, damage dealing potency. That's a very, very good thing. I think the only two other heroes that are leveling up the same way. Uh, Oban has level 20, usually on round 98. And uh, let me think. Quincy is faster in terms of leveling up than uh, Etienne. Use level 10 ability. I just want to demonstrate it to you. Uh, it's pretty strong, not against Zebras of course, but still, because Zebras can tank the explosions. Okay, we upgraded the sub commander and now we are chilling. Our next upgrade is gonna be probably the um, aircraft carrier and then the first strike capability and after that preemptive strike. Good. So, um, the Etienne's drones are amazing. And let me think, uh, Quincy usually levels up its 20th level up to round 80 to 82, I would say. At the end, around 95 on the advanced maps and I think around 92, 93 on the expert maps. And uh, same goes for Oban. Oban is level 20 on round 98 on expert maps. If I'm saying some numbers a little bit wrong. I, I can be wrong like at large, but if, I mis if I'm mistaken in some numbers, please let me know in the comment section down below if you know the, the right numbers, if, because um, on the video I can be mistaken at times and you can fix this by telling me in the comments. I always respond to my comments. Great. Okay. So, uh, at the end has its maximum damage dealing potency very very soon for example adora cannot reach round 20 uh, level 20 until round 100 uh, same goes for churchill same goes for azili and what other heroes do we have i'm not sure about gwen she might be able to reach re level 20 and uh, brickle ca also can reach level 20 but um, it's a little bit difficult for him, it's right at the end of the game. So, uh, in terms of leveling up, Etienne is one of the best heroes, and just look at his ability set. Uh, we have the drones, this dwar dwarfs, <laughs> drone swarm, and we have the UCAF ability. UCAF ability deals the 
splash damage to balloons if it's um, not level 20 ability because um, after the update Etienne's level 20 UKF that is permanent doesn't deal extra damage extra damage to the balloons by splash damage the only it's I'm not sure what's the antonym of the splash damage the because splash damage equals to area damage but what's the word for the Sing single target damage, probably. Okay, so the UKF deals the single tar target damage to most balloons. Um, and you can do nothing about this. Still, the UKF ability is pretty strong. And it helps you on round 96, 98. Uh, it helps you on round 95. When you are destroying the DDTs and... Like, this hero is so convenient. For me, the most important thing about the hero is that it must be convenient hero. If the hero is convenient, then it's easy to play with it, then you want to play with it and it's pretty strong. Right? Right. Okay, uh, right now Etienne is level 16 and it's only around 75. Is he gonna become level 20 until round... before round 90? That's the... Thing I wanna know. I don't remember him leveling that fast. Leveling up. Okay. Regardless, we are upgrading the carrier flagship, and the next step is to upgrade first strike capability. Or rather, I al I also want to upgrade the MIB here because I want to allow the little aces of the flagship carrier to hit the lead balloons and to pop them. Good. Uh, level 78 is a joke for us with this strategy, but the the other good utilization of this ability, um, for example, UKF can solo first ceramic wave on round 78, and he also can solo the second ceramic wave on round 78. That's just beautiful. Good. And my B is bot. Even though we don't need the camo vision from this village, because Etienne also already gave us the camo vision, we still uh, have to buy the MAB to destroy the DDTs and the strategy, so we don't really care much. Now let's strengthen our support monkeys, Alchemist Tier 4, and then first strike capability. Man, I wonder, will we be able to solo this game with those three fifth tiers uh, if we save up for the perma brew mm, no idea actually it will be interesting but for now we need to save up for the first strike capability it's a pretty expensive upgrade but it's well worth its money okay as you can see for now the this strategy is pretty op still they nerfed uh, this beautiful strategy on the patch 21 and it was painful for me to read this because the uh, sub commander was nerfed by 20 percent the damage was decreased and the you know the reason for this nerf was so stupid um i'm not against the nerf of this tower because it's it was pretty strong but the reason that they told us why they nerfed the sub commander was that they want to encourage the use of uh, the armor piercing darts level level four tier four. Damn, I, I don't understand this because armor piercing darts is already a commonly used tower, it's very potent, and why the hell should you nerf this fifth tier? You, there is no logic in this. I, the only logical solution for this, oh no, I was wrong, it's round 85 level level 20, or round 87 in this range. Uh, so it's illogical for me why they nerfed 5th tier if they want to encourage the usage of 4th tier. These two things are not connected whatsoever, and that was st a stupid thing. Round 87, Etienne is level 20, his little drones uh, deal way more damage 
now and he also have the permanent UCAF drone flying around and dealing the splash damage when its ability is not activated but when we activate the ability of UCAF right now it's single target damage will increase but it will remove the splash damage um, ability from this one good now we upgraded the preemptive strike and mm, i don't think we have enough uh, we'll have enough cash to buy the perma brew from round 91 to round 100 let's see Nah. So let's uh, build those few towers and then um, put down some support towers just in case. Okay. Uh, unstable concoction. First one. The second unstable concoction. And look, I'll use the UECAF ability for round 93. And we are golden. Nothing can stop us for at this point. We are simply rocking this. Damn. The Etienne hero makes this game so freaking easy. We just put it down. It allows the camo vision for every single tower. It wrecks every single type of balloon. And damn. The Etienne is amazing. Wow. I haven't played with Etienne on purpose because he was too too overpowered. I wanted to have more versatile approach to this game so that I can use every single hero in the different scenarios. But at the time when I was playing with Etienne, I loved this hero a lot simply because of these <laughs> overpowered abilities. Okay, use the first strike and then use the powered up UCAF ability. As you can see, it destroyed the uh, Zomigat on round 97, the fortified one. On round 98, simply use the drone's swarm ability. As you can see, it's so strong, damn it. We have $40,000 more that we can spend. And now you just spam all the abilities you can to deal more damage to the bad balloon. And as you can see, we destroyed it completely. We get the garbage insta monkey, doesn't matter. But right now you've just seen the demonstration of all the powerful abilities of this hero. It's enormous range, ability to fight through the walls and to appear to attack through the walls it's very important only few other towers have this ability it's wizard on the guided magic and all the other tiers on the uh, top lane it's the alchemist by default and that's pretty much it and other flying t flying towers like um, monkey ace and helicopter no other towers can sh shoot through the walls etienne he as a hero can and open plus Azili as a hero can, but Etienne's range is enormous and it's much better in terms of shooting through the walls and allowing other towers such as um, submarines to shoot and see this range. Just look at this. Um, because of the Etienne in this spot, by the way Etienne has 453,000 uh, <laughs> pops, that's also pretty savage because sub commander has just slightly above and the career flagship has 150,000 more. Okay, it's enormous range. Dw drone swarm ability deals quite a lot of damage. Um, the UCAF ability can solo the ceramic waves. UCAF ability can deal more damage to the um, blimps. It can also deal damage to the DDTs. Uh, and on round 95, if we, if we didn't have the preemptive strike, the UKF ability would save our life. Then uh, the Etienne allows the towers that can't see camo on the, their stronger upgrades 
we can upgrade them on these upgrades and still be able to hit the camo because of level 8 ability of this wonderful hero. And the thing is that he reaches level 8 by the round 35. So you pretty much have the camo vision for all your balloons after round 35. And this hero solos round 24 and round 33 camo balloons. It's so convenient, it's just the perfect hero for the a lot of scenarios. And that is pretty much it. The overall utility of this hero is very, very good. And in terms of other heroes, the only other heroes that can stand a chance of competing with Etienne are the Obin because of his numerous great abilities and uh, on Benjamin on non-chimps and non-half-cash modes. But Benjamin will be better than Etienne in half-cash mode, but still. Okay, we lost, doesn't matter. Let's end this game. Yeah, I'm still impressed by this hero. I don't use it simply because it's too overpowered. Same goes for Benjamin. I'm not... Even though in my profile it's the most used hero, but I use Obin and Quincy mainly on chimps mode. And Benjamin is just the hero that I used a lot to complete uh, the maps to make it as quick as possible. Uh, at the end, is one of the best heroes in the game right now. I would say either second best or the third best after the Oban and after the Benjamin. All other heroes pale in comparison. Brickell is better on water maps but we all know that Brickle is useless on the ground maps. Okay, this, these are the conclusions. If you think, if you're think, thinking if you should buy Etienne or the other $5,000 monkey money uh, upgrade, upgraded heroes, you should buy um, the heroes in such order. First Ben, then Etienne, then Brickell, then Dora, then Pet, and then Zilli. And Churchill in, in between of those two. Good. Okay guys, thanks for your attention. That was my guide of Etienne hero. Write your own opinion about this hero if you think it's too overpowered or if it's a good hero. And let me know in the comments what do you think about this rubric overall, what can be improved and what you'd like to see on my channel in the future. Thank you for your attention, hit the like button right now and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon down below to receive notifications about the new videos and do not miss the new amazing content. Also guys, share this video with your friends so that they can also, first of all, complete the high finance impopable, why not? And to know the benefits of the Etienne hero and if th make their own decision whether they should buy it or not. Thank you for your attention, see you in the next one.